where we connect and there's a lot of people around there that, that love hip hop. And like with the culture now, like, you know, your expert opinion when it comes to New York, like what's the impact on Lil Dirt? Lil Dirt on New York? Yeah. Um, I think if, if I can't, I don't, I don't really consider Dirt like a, a drill rapper or nothing like that. But being from Chicago and being part of that culture, I do think that drill when it came over to New York, it you know now we got New York, we got Brooklyn drill, we got Bronx drill, you know it it is definitely an influence there. But as far as like Dirk's influence, like people love his music, people everywhere love his music. Is is he influencing New York or leading it in a certain direction? I wouldn't say that, but I think he's definitely a, a voice in the culture definitely but um no nah, i don't i'm i don't really see people like yo i'm, I'm trying to be like little dirt i'm not i don't really see that what do you think about as far as the drill rap being like what do you think about that like you said it is it's bronze drill rap and so it's different cultures of drill rap that's coming out now right um I think drill is a, it's a, like any music, it's a form of expression. You know what I mean? It can be used for entertainment, just like, you know, some to like, Weird Al Yankovic makes, you know, songs where he says outrageous shit and, you know, nobody takes that shit, you know, to heart and be like, oh my God, he's destroying the world. He's going to make everybody fat. You know what I mean? Like nobody's doing that. Um, I do think that, Everyone should be conscious of the messages that, that you, you're pumping into your brain every day. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, kids are very impressionable, especially when it comes to music. But you can't knock somebody for, for, for making these records and finding a way out the hood rather than staying in it and having to live it. You know what I mean? That's a great comparison Thanks. that you just made to Weird Al Yankovic. Don't nobody take him seriously. So why do you feel that they take the drill rap so seriously? Because it's a part of our culture. Yeah, it, I mean, just like you know, when just like uh, when Tupac Tupac was rapping about Brenda's got a baby, the, the, that didn't that didn't make like a whole bunch of chicks go throw their babies in the garbage. It was letting you know what the fuck was going on. Come on, so, tell them again. So for for um for the drill artists, uh, the only thing I'm gonna say is understand that you know once you gain this popularity, once you once you gain the success, use that shit to help your homies rather than double down and get y'all nigga get yourselves caught up. Use that shit to help your homies, like lead them in another direction. Right. Why don't we see that more often than with with the people who have the opportunity to do it? Because because when it does happen, nobody talks about it. But they'll talk about the negative shit all day long. But I guarantee you, there's like like every popular drill rapper has done some good shit. You know what I mean? And and it, and it just didn't get talked about at all. Do you think it's a solution to that though? To me, it feels like it's almost human nature. And it taps into that. And like, how do you, you know what I mean? How do you get over that hurdle? Um, as, You got to change society. People are drawing to negativity because they feel negative about the way that they live. And they feel negative about the way that they live because they conform to what society tells them they're supposed to do. And that's that's a whole nother conversation. Facts. Exactly. Hey, Math, I know Red said you got to get up out of here and get back to the stool. Um, before you yeah. get up out of here, bro, can you shout out Death for the Cloud Chaser, bro? Yo, Death for the Cloud Chasers, Death to all Cloud Chasers. Go get a life, motherfuckers. <laughs> Death to the Cloud Chasers. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to y'all niggas, man. Salute, family.